welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's been featured on Bravo and Aspire TV. Now he's here to show off his culinary skills. We have the favorite, best, most talented chef here, she Chef Jayon. Jayon, yes. Yes, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm so, hungry. You hungry? I am hungry, but I hear that you are a New, New Orleans native and a Gremlin State alum. Yes, yes. Who that? First of all, I know it's not popular and uh, a Gremlin State <laughs> alumni. So, what's up, Grand Fam? How y'all doing out there? Well, it is popular if you make it. Well, if this is Taylor right Made Tuesday. This is Taylor Made Tuesday. Absolutely. I didn't know that. And what are we Taylor making today? All right, today we're doing New Orleans style barbecue shrimp. Ooh. <clears throat> so, uh, New Orleans style barbecue shrimp is indigenous, obviously, to New Orleans for mm. its one style, for its one pot cooking style. So that's what we want to do today. I can taste it already. And I think sometimes when people hear the word barbecue, they think we're utilizing barbecue sauce. Uh, not oh, so fast. No, no, no. Not so fast. <laughs> so actually, uh, New Orleans style barbecue shrimp was kind of an accident. Yes. It was a restaurant in the 1950s. A businessman came in and wanted a dish he got from Chicago. And the chef go actually. Ahead and put the yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Add the, the chef actually made the dish wrong and uh, made it something even better. So this is my take on it. Uh, when I get homesick and I can't go home to see mom, uh -huh. this is what I make. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get it going. I actually mm -hmm. just put in the oil. And let's go through the in uh, ingredients here, and then we will begin to uh, cook the meal. Yeah. So I see here you have a large jumbo shrimp. Yep, 16-20 uh, shrimp. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, you know what that means, right? It's 16 to 20 shrimp in a pound. Mm -hmm. So the smaller the number, the larger the shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our garlic. Mm -hmm. We have white wine. Mm. We have, oh, we skipped a step. We also have a special seasoning that I made. I'll okay. tell, you, tell you later. Okay. Later. You going to tell me? Now, you, one chef to another, now you might want to uh, be. You're right about that. Yeah, no, but I don't that. steal. Mm. I don't steal. I don't boost. Right. I don't take. All right, so then we have the white wine. Mm -hmm. We have Worcestershire sauce. Okay. We have buffalo sauce. All right. We have... Uh, tricolor peppers. Okay. We have fresh tarragon, Ooh. which actually, can you chop me up a little bit more? I can. Little bit. I was just going to go ahead and start seasoning the shrimp, if you yeah. didn't mind. Yeah, no problem. Okay, there we then go. We have uh, scallions and unsalted butter. Okay, All so right. I'm going to get over here. Let's go ahead. I wanted to make sure the oil was mm -hmm. getting hot. Nice and hot. I we think we're on here. the right track. Let's go ahead and put that shrimp in there. Getting there. So tell me a little bit about your style of cooking. Well, my style is very versatile, mm -hmm. uh, but it's based in New Orleans cuisine. So, oh. uh, definitely want to big bold flavors, big bright colors. Okay. But I can make anything. I mean, I've done kimchi, I've done German. You know, you want to be versatile. Absolutely. Because the more versatile you are, the more money you make, right? Absolutely. That's how it and goes. And I like to go where the money is. Me too. We have something in common. It's good to follow your natural talents. And how mm -hmm. long have you been cooking, Chef? Um, my first restaurant job was in 1998. Mm hmm So that makes me 25, right? Absolutely. So, um, you don't know how to count. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So. That's my first restaurant job. What about you? When did you first start cooking? My God, I started when I was probably 11, 12 years old. You know, I was in the kitchen with my mom. She always made it very fun. Wow. Uh, and actually, uh, it's very therapeutic for me, so I you enjoy it. You ever thought about it. doing a cookbook? Have I thought about it? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> He's so cute, isn't he? Let's go ahead. Of course, I do have my cookbook coming All out. Right. Now, Thank you very much. Now, I have much. a tarragon here for you. Let's you can add grab a tarragon to this. There Absolutely. you go, Chef. Absolutely. All right, and what's next? So we're going to make All that right. an opaque pink. I see you uh -huh. turning we're gonna that over. Do it. We're going to cook it halfway through because the biggest problem with seafood is mm -hmm. overcooking it. That's ah. the biggest problem with seafood. So with seafood or shrimp, what would you say, maybe two to three minutes? One minute on each side. One minute with. on so each side. So one minute, side. one minute. Okay. We are then going to add a little bit of garlic. All right, we'll do. That's good. That's good, Perfect. okay. Let it go, let it go. Okay. Then we're going to deglaze with wine. Wait, let it sizzle, okay. let it sizzle. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It doesn't matter that we're on morning television, but mm. that's okay. That's Just good. Just trying to get my cooker on, baby. <laughs> All right. Let this go. We got to wait 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. You like the flavors to permeate is what I, what I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to coordinate. That's real got to coordinate. That's real, real okay. good. It smells right. amazing. Let's go. What's your sauce? That's good. All right. All right. And a little bit of hot sauce. I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. You'll tell me when to stop. Okay, I like it hot and spicy. That's, there you go. That, that'll work. All right, that's good. Let this, let this simmer. Mm -hmm. Now, I hear that you, um, I know that you worked with Candy Burris, uh, mm -hmm. Atlanta Housewife, mm -hmm. and uh, opening her, her uh, restaurant, Old Lady Gang. Mm -hmm. But I also hear that you are opening your own restaurant. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, so um, I'm going to open up a concept, a New Orleans based restaurant called 2990. So 29 degrees north, 90 degrees west. That's oh, the latitude, wow. latitude of New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, I like that. So, you know, just something that's indigenous, something that's, that's home, that feels I, like home. I love All that. Right? And what kind of food can we get there? It's going to be based in New Orleans cuisine. You but want it's the peppers or the terracotta? Go uh, peppers next. Okay. It's going to be based in New Orleans cuisine, but, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. So just like Old Lady Gang is a, 
uh, soul food with a culinary twist to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of the same thing, my concept. Oh, Let's add like a tarragon. That. All right. Look how beautiful this is. Guys, nice I really, colors. I really wish you could smell this at home. My stomach is really growling, too. I just want to keep it real with you. All okay? right. So now the shrimp is done. This mm. is the shrimp is done. The last oh thing we're going to add is the unsalted butter. All right. And we can take it off the heat. Now, how much of this unsalted butter do you want? On this, this batch? Smelling it's smelling good in here. What's going on? It's really yep. popping that in here. It is good after that piece right there. All right. We want about two ounces Ooh. of butter. Ooh, I like butter. Go, oh, there we go. Wow. Mm. Man. You look nice. Chef here is going to plate. Mm. I'm, I'm, sure right, I'm plate. ready. I'll show you what to do. Well, here you go. Pass mm. me the plates and we'll do get it done. Do you want to do it on this? Or want, he wants to do it on that. Wait, All right. right. So I, we'll I, do it I, on this first. Move on down, on the mm -hmm. the Stack on the bread. Scoot on in here, okay. in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I like the good old bread. bread. Is that is that garlic bread? Nope, it's just actually just it's toasted baguette. Just like a toasted baguette. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, see that's so that's like almost here. like a bruschetta. So mm -hmm. You can do a bruschetta with it. So when that. you're plating, just do the shrimp only, and you want to plate it everything in the middle. So in when you plate, center. you want to focus on the center. That's so good. I actually, mm -hmm. wait a minute, hold that for me. Mm -hmm. Let me take this, and we're gonna clean this off for presentation. Mm -hmm. Come on, presentation. Mm -hmm. Right. Buy that cookbook. Right. Presentation she knows she's doing. is everything. Yeah, yeah. Like mm -hmm. one of them shrimp. Though. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Yeah. Well, right. you guys go ahead and taste. In the meantime, I'll close this segment out. Thank you, Chef. Okay. Well, what are we no doing? We'll be in my over here. here and up next, okay. we'll do the we one always short. want to hear what you say yeah, and what the people say. Oh, yeah, man. Stay right there. Watch me. Is that good? Oh, my God.